All right, everyone, welcome back to another video. I know it has been a minute, but I promise it's honestly just because there's nothing going on with the car. And so as I mentioned in the last video, that's kind of the whole idea of this channel now is I'm not really gonna film anything unless I have something to do. So that's what today's video is. I do have something to do and it is something very productive that I've been meaning to do for a long time. All right, so you'll see what we're gonna do in a second, but I figured I would walk you around uh, because there is something very, very dangerous that did happen, which was uh, this right here. As you can see, the brake pad completely split in half. And it is, it is now uh, yeah, no longer um, being held in there. So obviously that isn't good. It's why I haven't been driving the car at all is because, you know, that makes sense that's just not safe to be driving on so anyways not much else has happened it's kind of just been sitting here but i do have new brakes for the car but that is not what today's video is about i'm not actually installing the brakes today what today's video is about is i want to as you can see by this giant whiteboard right here i am going to write every single thing down that i need to do to this car so that i have it in writing and i know what i need to do we're basically making a giant checklist all right so we are gonna write this together what should we call it i feel like let's go with like uh what about that that's fine by me right <laughs> that makes sense okay first thing i'm gonna make little check boxes all right there's our first one and our first thing that we absolutely have to do to this car is new brakes. All right, so the new brakes, I do have them. They just haven't been installed yet. So that is coming soon on the channel. All right, I think I'm gonna sit you down there and do it this way. It's a little bit easier for me. I don't know how well you can see that, but we gotta add a new one. Uh, I'm gonna write it down just so that I have it written down, but it's already been done. All right, I don't know how well you can read that from down there, but that just says fix exhaust, which the exhaust has been fixed. There was a hole in it and it actually got split in half. Maybe or maybe not because I was driving it very hard. Who knows? Anyways, uh, it has been fixed. So it's been welded again and there was some other like rust holes that needed to be filled in. So that is officially finished. The exhaust is fixed. All right, I'm gonna write the same thing again because I actually don't plan on really keeping this one. It was just a temporary fix. So I wrote new exhaust. So that will come in the future. It definitely needs a new exhaust. It is far too loud for my liking right now. I'm just hoping I'm in the frame right now. I don't know if this is a good shot or not, but I'm going with it anyways. Um, what's next on the thing? Well, definitely this is very important. All right, well, how well can you guys see that one? That says paint right there. So. Uh, this is obviously very easy to see. Uh, our little uh, spray can thing we did is starting to chip off. That was fully expected. The only reason I did that in the first place was because I wanted to learn how to paint. That was the only reason I painted this car. The paint was never very good to begin with. I don't know if I had mentioned that in the videos, but it was pretty rough. So um, I just kind of did it over to see what it was like to paint a car and learn a few things here and there. And uh, honestly, for spray cans, I was actually really happy with how I did, but I didn't clear coat it because I knew I was gonna do it again. So um, that's why it's starting to chip and stuff like that. But there's lots of little things I would improve on, especially like the masking job right here and um, all the little stuff. Um, you know, th th there's just little minor in imperfections that needed to be fixed with it. And um, since it doesn't have a clear coat, you can't actually clean it very well. So that's unfortunate. All right, so if you can read that one right there, that says window trim, and I'll show you what I mean. So all around the entire car, the window trim is very, very poorly done and just flaking off. So that's something I wanna get done in the future, especially right here on this door. You can see it's very, very, very bad. So uh, definitely needs to be redone. And on the theme of windows and everything like that, the windshield does need to be done very bad. It has a big crack in it. I guess I'll show you guys that. So hopefully the camera can pick it up, but uh, essentially that has been cracked ever since I got the car. I've just never replaced it. So I'll probably just like take it to safe light or something and fix it that way. 
Okay, so our next one is a tail light leak. So the tail light actually, um, even though it's a really nice set that I got from eBay, it does unfortunately have leaks on both sides. It's not sealed properly. So I need to find a way to actually uh, reseal that so that water stops getting in there because the whole tail light is completely full of water on uh, the left side over there. So uh, we definitely need to figure that out. And it is also leaking here on this side as well. So obviously something we gotta take care of. You don't want water where your electronics are. That's never a good recipe, is it? And you can probably see it in there. Yeah, you see all that oxidization in there? That is no good. We don't want that. So the next thing on our list is the MPFI swap that I plan to do in the future. Just haven't gotten started on it yet, but might as well write it down because we're gonna do it anyways, right? All right, we got a two for special here. That is the front axles and the ball joints. Uh, so the ball joints in the front from when I actually bought the car are no good. So they haven't been good this whole time I've been driving the car. Uh, there's a very bad vibration once you get above about 75 miles per hour. So that's something we definitely need to get sorted. And uh, the axles as well, uh, there is a leak on the right side front, I think. Um, so uh, definitely, you know, want to get that stuff taken care of. Lots of little things like this that should have been done a long time ago and just never got done, but got to write them down, got to do it. So if we head over to the hood, you'll see what I'm talking about. There's this really bad gap in here because there's those spacers right in there. And that is obviously lifting the rear of the hood up so that the front strut bar can fit in there. But I don't need the front strut bar really. So <laughs> I'm going to take it out. And then when we do the MPFI swap, we'll put the strut bar back in because it'll actually fit. Now it's a little bit hard to spot, but there's also an indentation. I believe it's right here. And uh, I would love to get that imperfection sorted out and figured out. Uh, you can't really pick it up on the camera, but it's much worse in person. And while we're on the topic of this stuff already, I would love to get the headlight alignment situated because the headlights have always had really poor alignment and I just want them to fit properly. So again, you can see what I mean. They just don't really fit all that well compared to everything else. So I would love to spend a day just trying to figure that out and make it sit in that spot a lot better. Both sides are pretty bad. Granted, this one is a little better. It's not as bad as the left side, but the left side is definitely really bad, especially look at this gap right here. All right, another carbon fiber part. I really want carbon fiber mirrors for this car. So I'm gonna write it down so that I don't forget that because I will forget if I don't remind myself. So definitely want some carbon fiber mirrors. That would be sick. Now this one might come as a bit of a surprise, but I would love another set of wheels and tires. I don't wanna get rid of the set that I have. I actually really like this set that I have. I just wanna have another set so that, you know, if I ever do decide to take this car to the track or something, I don't have to drive on one set of tires. I can bring two sets and have just like a different set of wheels that I can bring with me. It's a very useful thing to have, so. And also about that with the direction that I'm going with the car, I think a different style of wheel will actually look a lot better. Um, and so that'll make sense kind of once we get further down that road. But as for right now, definitely want another set of wheels and tires down the road. All right, the next two are uh, directly related to each other. So that's why we're doing it together. And that is the rear wing and the trunk alignment. So um, something happened with my trunk one day. I have absolutely no idea what caused this, but what happened was my trunk no longer lines up properly and will not open and close. I have no idea what happened. I did nothing to cause that. So just one day it decided to stop opening and closing. Now the issue with that is exactly what you would expect, which is the rear wing won't come off now. And I've always wanted, I've had another rear wing forever that I've always wanted to paint properly and put on here. I just could never put it on because I can't actually get this wing off now because the trunk doesn't open. So that's something I would love to get sorted out in the future, get this trunk open and kind of figure out what's just going on in there and see if we can realign those panels or something like that. Okay, I don't really know if this one makes sense, but I'm gonna write it anyways because I'm very much a perfectionist and someone who is very meticulous about things. And so by looking at the car right now, I can just tell I really want the keyholes 
to be redone. So you can see all of the keyholes have just been sprayed over. I would love if those were um, kind of like a black trim outline with the silver on the inside. And it, it just, all those little details add up over time. All right, this is something I've wanted to do forever. So I'm gonna write it down. I've always wanted a bridge seat in this car. I just couldn't afford them. They're very expensive, but I've always wanted a proper, like really nice bridge seat in red. And so uh, unfortunately that NRG seat will have to go at some point. But actually, now that we're on the topic of this, I just remembered something. All right, so right there, as you can read, the seat rail on the driver's side. This seat has actually been in a fixed position since I first put that seat in there. And I would love to take that seat out and finally be able to make the adjustment work again. Because as of right now, I just sit way too close to that steering wheel, far too close. I would love to be a little bit further back and have a little bit more leg room in there. So definitely something I wanna get done this summer. All right, this is kind of a tricky one for me. I don't really know how to go over this uh, because I've never done anything like this before on a car, but uh, the carpet really needs to be redone, it, like really bad. I do appreciate the previous owner uh, repairing the floor for me and doing their carpet uh, themselves, but it wasn't the best job, if I'm gonna say shortly here. So I'll show you guys in a second, but definitely wanna redo the carpet. So very quickly, you will see what I mean. Uh, I do appreciate the work they did to put this new carpet in, but obviously this was not very nicely done. It's not tucked in anywhere. It's all kind of jagged and cut in weird ways. And I think I could do a much better job than this. So uh, I definitely would love to get a new carpet in here at some point, especially since the color of this car is gonna be white for the rest of its life. I do like the blue a lot, but I think a different color would look um, maybe better. All right, I'd love some gauges for the interior as well. Just simple stuff like an AFR and oil pressure and maybe water temperature or something like that, just so I could have like a proper reading of what's going on. I really don't like the fact that there's just like no information on the dash whatsoever besides the tax. So I would like a little bit more stuff like that. All right, this next one is very easy to understand. Rust repair obviously needs to be done. Every Honda in the world has rusted at some point and needs to be repaired. Uh, unless you are lucky enough to live in California or, or Florida or something like that. But if you're up here like me, they rust nonstop. So definitely want to get at least some of it repaired. I've been very, very lucky that this example has not really rusted all that much. There's only like one or two spots where it's a little bad. But other than that, I've been very, very lucky. All right, I put a question mark next to this one because I don't know if this is something I want to do or I just don't know how I feel about it yet, but maybe even getting another stock intake. Uh, I don't know what happened to mine. I have no idea where it is. I've tried to look for it. I just don't have it anymore. It's just gone. So I would love to get another one because I think that would actually solve a lot of my issues. I think the air intake I have right now is causing a lot of problems, which leads us to another question mark. I'm sure you guys know if you watch this channel frequently, this Civic has had an idle issue forever. It doesn't really bother me all that much because I just drive this car around town. I don't daily it or anything like that anymore. So um, it does still have an idle issue, but it's nothing insignificant. It doesn't surge or anything like that. Sometimes it just idles at like 1500 RPM. Sometimes it idles at 500 RPM. It's just never consistent. So I would love to find a way to fix that, which brings me to a few other things I'd like to do in the engine bay. I've had a spare throttle body gasket for a long time. I've just never put it in. So that's something that maybe I should probably consider doing in the future. We could very well have a leak in there and it would be wise to fix that. All right, next I have cluster lighting. So the actual gauge clusters lights don't work anymore. So, I mean, they do work a little bit, but at nighttime, you can't really see anything. The whole tachometer is dark. It's just the Speedo that works. So um, that's something that I would love to get figured out in the future, but that, that's kind of iffy. You know, I'm. it's, it's kind of like the last of my worries, I would say. All right, we have our last two written down here. We have pedals and new radiator hosing. So uh, the pedals in this car, uh, obviously, I only have a clutch pedal for the OEM rubber ones and it is ripped. 
And these two OEM ones, I just don't really like how they feel, or uh, OMP, excuse me. They're okay, but I don't like the fact that they're double-sided taped on there. I, I, I just don't feel secure about that. I would love a set of Mugen pedals. And also, when I bought a new radiator for this car, I should have 100% done the hosing. I didn't, and I definitely regret doing that, so I want to put new hosing in there. But that is going to do it for this video. That is our whole list of everything that needs to be done. I'm sure more stuff will be added over time. I'll just add it on this side as we keep going. But this is everything I can think of off the top of my head that I want to get done as soon as possible. So we'll see how that ends up working out for us. But that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode. See you later.